What's going on guys and gals? My name is Nako Flourish and welcome to some GameCube Nostalgia. Yes, today's video or tonight's video is going to be all about nostalgic games you may or may not have played or at least remembered on the GameCube. And I figured, hey, why not, right? Why not play some games that some people might remember? We're starting out good with The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. A lot of people remember this game fondly. A lot of people are like, yeah, I remember this game back in the day. Sure, let's create a fucking save file. So, we're gonna go with the name Ashley. I think that's my gender fluid name. Gotta have it. Blah blah blah. One legend. Blah the blue. Blah the blue. Blah, blah, blah. Now any Zelda game, even Twilight Princess and things like that, people are gonna be like, "Yeah, I remember. I love this game. I love this game to the point that I play on the Wii." And so they have. You know, they they played Zelda all the time on the Wii. And let's face it, I never did. I never played the Legend of Zelda growing up, because I never had access to that game. That was one of those games, I, I was always more of a Mario person. We had Mario Party, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers Melee, which Mario was in it. But, you know, we, we never had Zelda games. I never fucking played Zelda until I found, about, found out about the world of emulation. And I went back and I played the first one on yeah so I never played Zelda until I found out about the world of emulation a long time ago it's like 20 13, 14, maybe 15. So I, I went back and I played the original Zelda. Never owned Zelda. I never actually owned a Legend of Zelda game until a year or two ago. Yeah. At that time, 20 fucking years, I never owned Zelda. I never played a Zelda game all that much, let alone owned one. Again, I was always a, Zelda, a Pokemon fan, or a Mario fan, or Fire Emblem fan, or basically anything but Zelda. But I do love me some Zelda, and when I, when I did play all those years ago, 2013, 14, it was good. I liked the NES games. The Super Nintendo game was alright. So I went to see what Twilight Princess was like. So I watched a YouTuber known as PK Game play a little bit of Zelda, and I was like, okay. Okay, I I now know what I'm missing out on. So, yeah, I emulated that game. I played a little bit of it. And then, yeah, I'm basically playing this game right here, Wind Waker, through emulation. So I never played Wind Waker. So I don't have that nostalgic feel that a lot of people have when it comes to GameCube games. Even though I grew up on the GameCube, the games I played the fuck ton of and I can remember fondly, Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. That's it. And yeah, there are a few other games that are mostly third party, like Pac-Man, was it Pac-Man Party, Pac-Man Fever, something like that. It was a, a Namco party game in the style of Mario Party, but it had characters like Astroth, and, or is it Nightmare? One of those two. Had Pac-Man, had a bunch of other stuff, you know, from the Namco universe. And, you know, it, it was a good time. You know, it was a really good time playing that game. All the really good games are third party. You know? And yeah, there were some absolute garbage games on the GameCube that I fucking loved. Because when I was a kid, I didn't care about quality. I only cared about playing games on the, uh, on the GameCube. That's it. I didn't care about quality. 
Fuck quality. Who needs quality, you know? Why? Who's the brother? Who are you? Why? Who the fuck are- Is that Zelda? Who the fuck are you? You look like Zelda on crack. Now, okay, a lot of people were talking about the art style, and they weren't really- Okay, I, I, I guess the story was, not a lot of people knew or really thought this was going to be a good idea that they changed the style of Zelda to look like this. Um, but it, it turned out that this was actually a good art style. And I don't think I've seen a Legend of Zelda game, you know, turn out like this again. Because, you know, Twilight Princess was more lifelike in a way, more dark. This is more of a cartoony feel to it. Now, I honestly don't really mind the style of this game, but let's face it, I don't think I'll ever beat a Legend of Zelda game. I don't know, I have a bunch of other games to beat. I don't want to spend my time beating Zelda. Even after I keep talking praise about the series. Okay, so we're talking about a game like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, right, for example. I'm never going to beat that game. I haven't even beaten Skyrim. I don't think a lot of people actually have beaten Skyrim, but... Okay, what was I supposed to do? I was too busy talking. Okay, old woman's waiting. What did I just do? Okay, I just rolled into something. Okay, if you roll into the ladder, you're gonna fucking smack your face against the ladder. Wait, I'm pressing up on the on the control stick and I'm going down the ladder. What the fuck? How does that work? Oh god. Wait, what? I'm in the water now. Why am I in the water? What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't like this. Okay, is there any way to control to change the controls? Options. Targeting mode. I guess. But is there an actual way to... No. There's no way to change the control style? Right is left and left is right. I hate that. I fucking hate that. You move the C-stick left, your character... You move to the right. And you go, you, you switch right, and you go, what is this control scheme? I, I understand the whole rolling thing. Rolling actually, I think, makes you go faster a little bit, so... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> hey! I always liked what, you know, when Link was never, I mean, some people are like, Link doesn't talk. He makes sounds, but he doesn't really talk. Sometimes I do believe that is true. But other times I think the whole, ha, here, you know, the, the sounds that he makes in these games, I think that's him talking. I don't know. It's more than just noise in some cases. Whoa. My birthday was not until the 16th. Never mind. Yeah, my birthday was not until the 16th of January, but I guess that's when this game takes place. I don't know. There's no snow. Then again, there wasn't, I don't think there was any snow on my birthday anyway, so, whatever. Where am I? I'm just gonna knock everything over, I'm a cat. Jesus Christ! Why am I... I'm a cat, I'm gonna knock everything over. What are you doing, you idiot? Well, breaking shit, yeah, but... Oh my god, who the fuck are you? What? That's a shield. Listen here, old woman. What? That's... ba -na -da -da. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. I mean, probably. Uh, 
Okay, hold on. So you're telling me I'm not the legend, but I'm the same age as someone who is the hero of legend. So, you're telling me to wear the clothes of someone that is that way. What? I mean, I, honestly, we all know who Link is. Link is the fucking hero. So the sword and shield and whatnot, that is really awesome. But I don't understand the timeline. I never understood the fucking timeline of Zelda. Zelda timelines never made fucking sense to me. Cause like, got Link from the first two games on the NES. Uh, and some people I guess say that A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo is another version of Link. Link from a different timeline. And, and you got Majora's Mask and fucking uh, Ocarina of Time. It's different. This Link is different because we... He doesn't know about... Uh, how does the fucking timeline work? <laughs> what even is the timeline of Zelda? And I was watching a video that the Angry Video Game Nerd made a long time ago. It was a chronologically confused... How did those get there? Get back here! I'm gonna knock you all over, again. I just knocked you over for the first time. I'm gonna break you. Just fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, I was watching a video by the Angry Video Game Nerd. He was talking about the, uh... The thing. Yeah, he was talking about the how the Zelda timeline is chronologically confusing. It is! When you get into it, a lot of games are. Call of Duty Zombies could be. But, you know, the Zelda timeline is really fucking confusing. Um, let's see, what are you? Final Fantasy, that timeline is confusing. What the fuck? Ew! Get out of here, you shit! Get the fuck out of here, dumbass! Get! Why are you so stupid? <laughs> Stop following me! I will... I'll roll into you! I will knock you in the water! Stop following me! I will kill you! I will find the sword, a master sword even, I will cut you down. You don't stop being stupid, <laughs> and annoying, and a little kid. <laughs> That's how I am in fucking reality too. I really hate little kids in reality. Like, kids are fucking annoying as shit. And that's why I'll never have them. Every time I think I want children, something always happens and I'm just like, Never mind, I don't want children anymore because they're stupid and dumb and... Yeesh. Blah, 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 Everyone talks about how hot it is. I don't care. I've been in a billion degree weather. I went into a molten lava volcano. Or whatever the fuck it was in Twilight Princess. Ba -da -da. Wait, if it's her most prized treasure, why would she give it to me then? I don't give a fuck! This whole thing is weird! Everything is weird! I don't... I don't know how I feel about this game. Honestly, yeah, it... From what I have played of it, I played this game before. Uh, a few months back. And it, it's a, it's an okay game. I can see, I can, I can totally see the appeal behind it and why it's a classic on the GameCube. And why, you know, a lot of people remember this game fondly. However, there's a lot of better games out there on the GameCube. And, we're gonna be taking a look at that one right about now. So, what is this game I'm playing right now? A black screen! Oh wait, never mind, it's Nintendo and HAL Laboratory. I think you know what this game is. It's everybody's favorite Smash Brothers. Like, literally, everyone talks about how this Smash Brothers is literally the best one. Melee. Yeah. Fucking Melee. This game, right here, I fucking love. I played the shit out of this game. For years and years and years and years. I mean, okay, so a little, little story here. 
Back in my day, I was like five or six, I just moved to this shithole town known as Racine, Ohio. And I moved to this shithole county as well. So, which I didn't know how bad it was going to be. So I was in school, and long story short, I started acting out some of the violent scenes in video games. And I had a lot of video games taken away from me, like Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Please. And for some reason, this one! It was Smash Brothers! I mean, come on. It's a Nintendo game, for fuck's sake. A game with Mario on it. By that logic, I shouldn't be playing Double Dash. I shouldn't be playing Mario Party. I shouldn't be playing fucking Legend of Zelda. Then again, I wasn't really playing Zelda. But yeah, it took a long time before I could actually play this game again, but I went right back to it. It was as if I never stopped playing it in the first place. I quickly learned the controls, I learned the character movement, I learned everything just like that. Instantly. So yeah, I fucking love this game. Now let's go and do some training, because why not? Actually, no. No. Fuck training mode. Captain Falcon Peach. Uh, regular match. Now here's what I thought was clear. Okay, so... Mario fucks Bowser. Mario fucks Peach. Peach fucks Mario. Everyone's getting fucked today. Now I, uh, I blame the Angry Video Game Nerd for this once more. Because, um, there was a video... I think it was him... Was it JonTron and Mike? So, uh, James and Mike Mondays. Um, they were doing a Smash Brothers game. I think it was the original. This is an overpowered move, by the way. If you know how to use Peach, she's not as bad as people make her out to be in this game. There's definitely way worse enemies, or way worse characters to play as in this game. Um, yeah, I'm playing as myself away from, you know, other people in reality. If I was playing with people in reality that are veterans, yeah, I would not be this good. I might get a kill, but I never played this game online. And I guess there's a way you can play this game online. Fine, I'll get myself killed just for that. So sometimes it can be. Oh my god. Sometimes it can be a little disorienting where your character is as opposed to where other characters are. Oh, it was me! Oh, I forgot about that. I was about ready to beat the shit out of Ness. Oh, I hate these. The only thing good at break the targets is the the music that plays. Yep, I've never liked break the targets. Break the targets is so bad. It's like I'm supposed to get that one, but how am I supposed to get that one? How am I supposed to get that one? You know, there's so many I have to get. I think I have to use the umbrella. Okay, I have to do something like that. I, I, I throw turnips. Wait, what if the turnip is the way? There we go, the turnip is the way! No, oh, get up there! Peach, you may be my favorite character. And I cosplays you in reality sometimes, but you are becoming a- No! 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 Fuck you! <laughs> I- that's just why I hate Bridget Tar- I, I fucking hate it. Versus Pikachu. Alright, let's go Pika Pika. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Oh, I used to spam that move all the time. Hey! Oh, yes! What? Oh, ha <laughs> ha! Pikachu, you idiot! You fell 
fell for it. That's what I was trying to get you to fucking do. A giant Yoshi! I can do it. Damn! Fucking hell! <laughs> that was the fucking fastest goddamn stage clear in the history of stage clears. Do you see that? Mario's like, Ew! Just started flying Yoshi out of the fucking map. You should have seen that. If you haven't, go back and watch a few seconds ago before I started going crazy by that. That was awesome. That was like the fastest goddamn stage clear in the history of Super Smash Brothers. I ain't talking about just Melee. You know, Ultimate, Wii U, 3DS, Melee, Brawl, the original, every other Smash, even, even Smash Brothers Flash and Flash 2. We're talking. We're talking some good shit. Oh, I love these. No! Get back here! Yes? I did something. Bowser! Oh, you want some of this? How dare you hit a princess? That's it. I'm offended. Hey! That's explosive. Jesus Christ! When Peach goes big, she goes big and she goes hard. She smacks the fuck out of everything that moves, and she grabs a turtle by the ass cheeks. Jesus Christ. Oh, I fucking love this stage. I love these teams where it's just you versus everybody else. Because they're usually the easiest to destroy. Oh, I hate these. Oh, actually, yeah, I mean, you could get trophies, but why would you want to do that at this point? Oh, metal. Yeah, Peach is always my main character in Smash Brothers. Oh, now again, I knew it was like the easiest mode ever. Like, very easy, but still, you would have thought that it wouldn't have taken that long to kill Yoshi. I mean, it would have taken longer, I mean. Try to flick me. I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh, yeah, the hand is dead. Absolute deadness. Yeah, this is why so many people fucking love Smash Brothers, and they grew up on it, and they still play it to this day. This is why Melee, in particular, has a really big fan base still. I think it's. I don't know if anybody can actually do this. Probably, uh, but I don't think anybody can actually shoot everybody's name. I don't think anybody can do that. Cause like, I'm missing a whole bunch. Basically you shoot the target and it gets, turns red. Red, red or pink. Um... But you look at how fast you go. I don't know what you get out of it. It's probably just a little mini game. Try shooting whatever the fuck. I, I thought there was like, Apple Jacks, um... Yeah, Apple Jacks, key mark. I can fire faster! 
Yeah, I don't really care too much. Also, if you shoot the buildings. And it tells you a little bit about who they are. I wonder if these websites are still alive. How many of these games are still around as well? Like... That's awesome! Peach beat the shit out of Fox. A new photo is appeared. Oh, it's Jigglypuff. Yeah, I think you have to... I mean, this is also why a lot of people come back to play Melee, is to unlock all the characters if they haven't already. Some people, they actually... They delete their save files like a fucking madman just to unlock these characters all over again. Yeah, I've already 100% melee, but I'm gonna delete my save file so I can do it all over again. Really? I mean, why not just get another memory card and use that memory card instead? Yeah, you know, there's other ways of doing it, you know, to unlock the same character over and over again. You got a Peach Trophy. Mac, Mac Rider, Mock Rider, whatever the fuck. There's also Adventure Mode, which I didn't do. I'm probably not going to do in this video. Event Match, Stadium, Training. There's just a lot of cool shit to do. Stadium, Target Test, Home Run Contest, Multi-Man, Melee. Multi-Man? That's a thing on the PS3! <laughs> yeah, I know. I think this, this probably came out. I mean, this came out well before the PS3 uh, even had that exploit. But anyways, the next game, and, uh, one of my all-time favorites, if not my all- Wait, okay. You know what? You all saw this coming. You can't do- I mean, I can't do a GameCube nostalgic video without talking about my favorite video game of all time. It is... Yeah, you fucking guessed it. Mario Kart Double Dash. My all-time favorite video game. I'm not even kidding. This is my favorite video game of all time. I go back to this game constantly. And I mean constantly. Double Dash will always be my favorite video game. Even if there's something that I deem probably better. It's probably not better than Double Dash. Nothing is better than Double Dash! I love this game so much, I will constantly, okay, you know how I was talking smack about people that were, you know, deleting save files for Double Dash a few minutes ago? Or not, not, not Double Dash, um, Smash Brothers? Well, I will go out of my way to do that. To 100% this game again. And again. And again. And again, and again, and again, and again. I literally, I, I probably beat this game like 15, 20 times. I'm not kidding. 15, 20 times. I've already beat this game multiple times. I, I 100% of this game, like, so many times. Everything's been unlocked, all the characters, and I'm doing it all over again. You know? Uh, and this time it wasn't my fault, okay? Like, the last time it was because... Okay, yeah, I wanted to, del to delete this save file. Right, the save file that I had to, um, do whatever. But sometimes, I'll just go through a Mario Kart Double Dash Marathon. I will just, like, not use save data that's already on the memory card. And I'll just, like, play this game in one long sitting. And just, like, non-stop play Double Dash. All day, every day. I mean, and a lot of people often ask me, you know, on Facebook and in general, there's there's also these posts that people make that's like, okay, if you could choose one game to play for the rest of your life, what would it be? I will choose Double Dash. I'm not kidding. I don't care about Skyrim and its 100 plus hours. I don't care about Breath of the Wild and its possible 100 plus hours. I don't care about, you know... Uh, Call of Duty, or Medal of Honor, 
I don't care about any other game that I've played. Like, yeah, I can play it forever, but I won't get the same enjoyment out of this game. I mean, out of the, those games as I would with this game. So, and, and there's always something fun about Double Dash. It's multiplayer. It's one of the only few GameCube games that support, uh, you know, LAN. So you could have 16, yes, 16 players in one game, pretty much. You hook up a bunch of GameCubes and a lot of shit, a lot of controllers, a lot of copies of Double Dash, and you're all set. Yeah. And there's so many characters to mix and match. Even though, let's face it, I will always play as Peach and Daisy. Because, like, Peach is my favorite Mario character. And Daisy, I guess, my second favorite. Um, I, I like the princesses. You know, Princess Daisy, Rosalina. And I guess, I don't know, what would you consider Pauline as? Would you consider Pauline a princess or not? Like, I don't really consider her one of the princesses. Even though she was the original damsel in distress before Peach came along. Um, you know, and Donkey Kong and shit like that. Ah! Yeah, it's only good to do that for a double item box, but I'm already ahead of the competition. Or not. It's useless to take that, but I do it just, just for the fuck of it. You know, there's so many games that the GameCube had that... Let's face it, it was perfect. It was the perfect game console. And honestly, I think this console should have sold more than the, than the PS2 ever did. The PS2, I think, is still the highest sold game console of all time. So, yeah. I think the GameCube should have taken that honor, because the GameCube has so much fun games on it. Yeah, the PS2 had good games, like God of War and Devil May Cry and a shit ton of Dance Dance Revolution games, while the GameCube only had one. But, what the GameCube had, it proves that, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of processor or power your console is running. You know, we had games that looked like this, meanwhile the, the PS2 and the Xbox had games that looked better, and ran a little bit better in my opinion. But, we had Mario Party, we had Mario Kart. We had Pokemon Colosseum, we had Pokemon X and Gala Darkness, which were, like, actual Pokemon games. Kind of like Stadium, in a way. On the GameCube! We had Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We had Pikmin. We had fucking, like, so many games. And the, and the only, um, you know, um, DDR game we ever had was a fucking phenomenal one. Mario Mix. Yeah. That was a really good one. And I guess uh, a lot of people are talking about Chibi Robo. Eh, I never played it. Um, oh yeah, and there's uh, Luigi's Mansion. Can't forget about that gem. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, obviously, you know, a lot of people talk about Tales of Symphonia, but after a while, I start thinking that's, I, I don't really think that's like, exclusive to the GameCube, it might have been for a long time, but I think the PS3 finally got it. I don't know, I think there's another game of Tales of Symphonia somewhere else, not on the game, not just on the GameCube, but that's one that a lot of people talk about on the GameCube, and speaking of good RPGs on the GameCube, um... There's one that I enjoy the most. It's Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. That's another classic. Uh, like, you know, the non-stop talking about amazing games on the GameCube. And this is why I think the GameCube was the best generation of gaming. The Wii is a very second close, or very close second. So I do enjoy the Wii. I love the Wii. It had some good games like Fire Emblem as well. Uh, had some more DDR games, it had good Mario games, it had this, it had that, but... 
No, I'm going backwards. I said I'm going backwards. No! Fine, I don't want that star anyway. But this map, this level, this goes fucking hectic. This console had so many great games that, you know, also Metroid Prime. Metroid fucking Prime. Yeah. Yeah. And on some of the, the later stages, on the later difficulties, it gets more hectic. On this game. But you know, we, we had uh, Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2, uh, was it Echoes? Or was it Corruption? I can't remember. I think the third one was Corruption, that was on the Wii. Yeah, Metroid Prime Echoes, I believe. So we had those games, we had Double Dash, we had so many just games that were amazing and that I don't think we'll ever see quality wise again. And again, you know, it's mostly my nostalgia talking. You know, we have had some good games since then. We've had Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, we've had Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart 7. Um, that's some Mario Kart games. We had Mario Party 8 on the Wii. Um, let's see, uh, some Pikmin games on the, on the, the Wii as well. Let's see, we had... I guess... Everyone's talking about how good the Breath of the Wild is. But that wasn't exactly a Switch game. Yeah, it is, but it was first on the Wii U. So many games were on the Wii U before they ported it over to the Switch. Because I, I guess Nintendo wants to forget about the Wii U ever being a thing. I've always, want, I, I, I've always wanted a Wii U. I mean, always. And now that I have that opportunity, for some reason, I don't buy a Wii U. I buy PS4s and PS3s, and I buy these older consoles of like PS2 or something like that, PS1s and whatnot. I don't buy these newer, or I guess not really newer anymore. But like, the Wii U was a fucking flop, and then some. But I still want one. I've always wanted one. Ever since it first came out, I wanted one. Um, cause some games on there would be great. And some people are like, oh, what games would you possibly play on it? I don't know. Smash Brothers? <laughs> uh, Pokken Tournament? Uh, Pokemon Fighting Game? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. And some people are like, well, I mean, I think they have some of those on the Switch. They got better games on the Switch. You had, uh, you got Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, but it's not Smash Brothers on the Wii U. <laughs> I mean, it may look similar, but it's not. Um, and some people would say one of the better games to get is Zombie U. Nah, Zombie U isn't exactly a, an exclusive game to, to the Wii U. Just because it has the, the U at the, uh, at the end of the title does not make it an exclusive. Because there is a game on the PS4 called Zombie, and it's the exact same thing. I played it. So, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I can play this game for hours and hours and hours nonstop. I cannot praise this game enough. The soundtrack is phenomenal. The graphics to this day still hold up. The character selection for the time was wild as fuck. And the whole mix and match thing. You can't mix and match characters anymore. Like, Nintendo has never done a Mario Kart game like this since. They've never done it before, and they've never done it since. This is the only game that allows you to play with two people at once. So you can play as Peach and Birdo, or Baby Luigi, or hell, Peach and Bowser. And mix and match Peach and Baby Mario, I just fucking... Yeah, you can do a weird-ass combination that would never make sense in any normal context. Like Diddy Kong and Daisy. How about Koopa and Waluigi? Or Mario. I guess that makes sense. Mario beats the shit out of Koopas every damn day. But, yeah. 
And plus there's Petey Piranha. And there's King Boo, Toad, Toadette. There's a lot of fun, awesome characters. And just, it, it, this game is perfect. It's the most perfect game I have ever played. I'm not kidding. I'd rather play this game than most of the games that come out now, anyway. Like, I'd rather play this game than the new COD game. And I do love Vanguard. I'd rather play this game than uh, Skyrim. Or Pokemon. Or, and I, I've heard a lot of good things so far about Arceus, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I want that game so badly. Oh yeah! By the way, I forgot one game that, uh, is coming up next. Three, two, one, zero. Here it is. It's a little game known as Animal Crossing. Now, in theory, this game is not a GameCube exclusive. This game did come out on the N64 before the GameCube, but it was a Japanese-only game, so this was the first game we got uh, that was an English release. So, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I guess it's fine to do that. But, you know, have you ever wanted to know where Animal Crossing came from? And, uh, okay, here's a sad thing. There are some people out there that think that New Horizons, the game that came out a year ago, or a year or two ago on the Switch, uh, they think that's the first and only Animal Crossing game. That's fucking sad, man. That's fucking sad. Because they're skipping over Wild World on the DS, and City Folk on the Wii, and the original on the GameCube, and the, uh, I, guess, I guess the original on the N64 as well. And you had, you know, the 3DS, New Leaf, and you had, uh, the one that's on the Wii U, Amiibo Festival or whatever. Like, there are so many games. There was also Happy Home Designer. So this is not the only single, you know, Animal Crossing game in existence. Let that be a little lesson, you guys and gals out there that do think that. And I have saw a few people on the forums, well, I guess some people on Facebook and people in general, that think that New Horizons is the only one. No. I don't care if it is or not, it's not gonna matter. Now, for the longest, longest time, a lot of people just, you know, they didn't really like Rover. I mean, yeah, when I was a a young gamer back in the day, I didn't really care much for Rover either. But, you know, I have a new appreciation for him. Because, you know, how dare you call me odd? I know I'm odd. Fuck you. It's a very cute name for a very cute girl. Oh, how dare you. I'm headed to, and this is why I love this game. I'm headed to fuck you! How do you... Space. Okay. I'm headed to fuck you. You're going to fuck you! Oh wait, no! No! Go back, go back! I got a better, I got, I got a better one for this. <laughs> oh, I have it perfectly. You're going to fuck me. <laughs> and this is why I love the original Animal Crossing. <laughs> You're going to fuck me. <laughs> Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> That's totally worth a picture on the internet. And people are not going to believe it. Alright, hold on, hold on. I took a picture, so this is gonna be on Facebook afterwards. And now I can't get the phone back to... It's how it's supposed to. You know what? Phone! You and I are gonna have issues. There we go. That's fine. I don't care. You're going to f 
fuck me. That's right, I am. I know that place. Fuck me is one of my favorite spots. So, what, what are you gonna fuck me for? One million dollars. I'm moving. I hate when we pack boxes, blah, blah, blah. I don't know yet. I, this buddy of mine runs the show.